Welcome back guys. This is Easy Rider. It's basically a super easy to fit e-bike conversion kit that works on any bike. So you can effectively turn any bike into an electric bike. So in the kit, you get this control unit here, which doubles as a daytime running light. There's a screen on the top which shows you the information, such as your speed and your battery level and everything else. And you have controls here for adjusting your pedal assist. Also in the kit, you get this complete motor wheel, which includes a 250 watt motor hub. This whole rim comes as one. All you've got to do is take off the tire of your old wheel and put this, put it on this new one. And this is an Alex rims wheel, so it's super strong. Other parts in the kit, you also get brake sensors so you can adapt normal brakes. And that's just a safety measure so that it cuts the motor power when you push, push the brakes. And lastly, your pedal assist sensor, super easy to install. This ring just comes apart and you just put it over the top of the crank. It, you don't need to take anything apart. And then the main sensor for that goes on the seat post tube down here. Now, what's really cool about the main controller bracket is this is super easy to just basically remove. So when you go, go off or go to the shops or something like that, you can lock the bike up. The most expensive part is not left on the bike. And this is super light as well. This literally just, you know, you could just put that in a bag and it'd be no problem at all to carry that around. Also, that makes it super easy for charging because you haven't got to lug the whole bike to where your plug socket is. You can just literally plug the charger in a plug socket and take this wherever that socket may be. And then when you're ready, you just pop that on there like that, click that in and then connect up the main cable. That is it. It's just one cable connection to this unit. And that is basically it, guys. This bike started out as a normal bike, just straight from the shop. And we've just put this kit on. If you haven't seen the, the video where we did that, go check it out. I'll leave a link in the description for that, um, the full sort of install process. So yeah, I think it's time for a ride on this beautiful summer's morning. And there's not gonna be too many summer days left like this in the UK, so let's get rolling. All right, so let's start by turning on the uh, main unit, so it just fires up. And then literally just pedal. The pedal assist is gonna kick in. It's just gonna basically just give you a bit of assistance, but we're actually on a bit of a hill at the minute. I wanted to try this new path out actually, because they've just, done all this over here so nice isn't it look at this i love it with all the uh all the sort of hay bales anyway we're just cruising down here I haven't, i'm not actually using any any assistance so the thing about this kit is the fact that it's quite light so basically you're not kind of adding much weight to the bike at all which kind of benefits it in two ways because it makes it efficient because obviously the motor and everything else hasn't got a you know run any extra power to compensate for its weight um but it also means that you know if you do turn the power right down low you can actually pedal like a normal bike and it doesn't really feel like you've actually got that much extra weight kind of on there at all so i'm on pedal assist two at the moment we're on the flat and um you know it, the motor's got so much torque i mean i said this when we were sort of you know designing this and trying different motors um, this one is geared, so this, well that's 250 watts and it's, it's legal this kit, so you know it's got a maximum speed of 15 and a half mile an hour and um, everything else to make it road legal um, in the UK. Um, it's actually got a lot of torque and that does help that you've got a light bike as well. So if you're going to put this on um, you know, a bike, a normal bike, most of the bikes are quite light, um, so that really helps things. See the problem with a lot of kind of the, the Chinese bikes and a lot of the bikes that kind of you're seeing electric bikes for sale they're actually quite heavy they're quite built up which is a good thing because that makes them strong but it also means that they are quite heavy so if you if you get a 250 watt hub drive um, you know bike online from any of these sort of Chinese manufacturers then you might find that the performance is not particularly great now, I weigh about 100 kilos, so I'm not the lightest chap in the world, um, and this is absolutely fine. I've done previous range tests on this, and it's, it's worked out about 18, 19 miles on, on sort of full chat. Now, on the subject of which bikes will this fit, um, I said pretty much all bikes. Um, not technically true, because there are bikes that this won't fit, and that's basically anything with a, with a through axle at the front, it won't fit. If you've got dropouts on the front, it just slots straight in and you'll be able to use it. Um, that is basically, no hub really works with um, through axles and that goes for the rear mounted ones as well. Now on the front, having the motor on the front is actually no problem at all with this sort of power level um, because it actually is kind of better having a front wheel drive system, um, you know, if you're just using this for sort of general riding. Um, if you've got high power stuff, then rear, rear mounted wheels, uh, motor wheels are better, or, or rear wheel drive, should I say, are better because 
you know, it's a lot of power to be going through that front wheel. But, you know, there's a reason why there's a lot of cars that are front wheel drive <laughs> and not so much rear wheel drive. So it's kind of the same principle, being pulled at, at a kind of low power for general day-to-day -day stuff um, is actually fine. And with this at the, at the front, you will find that it does add a bit of weight to the front of the bike, but that's also a good thing because most of these bikes are really light at the front anyway. So you're not gonna be doing any wheelies or, or crazy stunts or stuff like that with this on. Um, but it does mean that this does actually kind of, you know, provide a bit of weight for the front as well. So you get better traction um, with that anyway. So normally a lot of these bikes, you'll see the battery mounted here, like in the triangle. Um, this is good as, again, because it means that if you have got a bike that hasn't got a very big area here, you can fit this on the front, no problem. And most of those kits normally um, rear wheel drive. Um, and we do rear wheel drive kits as well. There's loads of stuff on our website, um, which, you know, we've been doing this a long time now and there's there's crazy performance you can get from, from uh, Hub Motors. All for off-road usage only though, I might add. So as I said, you've got three levels of power in here. The third one is actually pretty mad. If you go up to, you know, the, the top speed of this, it gets up to the top speed pretty quick. Um, see, look, I can go through the gears here and go down. And this, you know, with minimal, minimal assistance, this is like, this is climbing. <laughs> speed is climbing pretty high. Now you will notice this has moved down a little bit. Unfortunately, this particular bike, the headset is quite slim. So this kind of thing that we've got here that prevents that from moving forward um, isn't technically ideal for this bike, but it's not a problem. It's not gonna fall off. It just means it goes down to the, sort of that kind of level. And I usually just leave it like that because it's, it's actually, it's fine. You can read the speedo from here um, and it's actually all good. So yeah, what a lovely morning. That's the thing, I love just coming out on these bikes. You know, just having a little rip round, a bit of fun, get a bit of exercise in as well, because you can turn the power down, so you know you don't have to don't have to go mad. But this is just such a lovely part. Look at that, look at that. That lake is just beautiful. I'll tell you what we'll do. There's a hill up here, look, and I'll put it in the so I'm in the highest level of assistance, which is actually called climb, climb mode. Um, using the brakes here to just kind of regulate my speed. Um, so the motor doesn't kind of kick in. So that's another good reason for having the, the, the brake sensors on. So some people don't do that. Right, okay, so I'm on shingle here. So you can, you can feel that front wheel skipping a little bit. Let's get over to the grass, but I'm literally putting minimal power on here, guys, and we're going up this hill. I don't know if you can see this, what kind of hill this is, but it is pretty steep. The camera might, because of the wide angle, it might not be giving it, um, you know, too much. But yeah, so you can see that front wheel skipping a little bit, losing a little bit of traction because of obviously the, the uh, it's a bit damp, to be honest, but that is kind of normal. If you want rear mounted kits, we've got those as well. So it's, if that's gonna be an issue for you, then just get another kit. But I'm putting some power in, but this would have, this would have absolutely killed me getting up this, this bit. <laughs> it really would. But I still feel like I've done some work. And then we're, now we're on the downhill. So yeah, about 19 miles range of doing that. Um, and you know, that was kind of pretty much on the full power setting. If you're lighter than me, then you'll get more. That's just basically simple physics. But this kit really does work well on this particular bike. This bike's got disc brakes. Um, I would advise having disc brakes. If you haven't, it's not a problem because it will work with V-brakes. Um, I'll show you why. Because this particular rim that we've got on here has this section here, which can be used for V-brakes. So that's like your clamping brakes that go either side there. It will work on those. And actually, you know, those aren't, aren't bad. So if you want to save some money, and not go to the expense of buying a new bike. You could just fit this kit on pretty much any any bike, um, any older bike for sure, because most of the, those won't be through axle. You know, there's some really good kind of older full suspension bikes out there, which otherwise you can't convert. You can't convert those to electric because there's nowhere to put the battery in the frame. So this sort of thing going on the front would be ideal for those sort of bikes. And then you can convert that old 
dual suspension bike that you've got just sitting in your shed doing nothing um, into a, a fun machine or like something you know that you could use to commute around but with all this ULES nonsense at the minute you can actually join the e-bike revolution right I'm going to shut up for a bit and just enjoy the ride On this kit, I've actually got a throttle. It's not, a, not legal on the road to use this, but off-road, you're absolutely fine. So let's give it some go. It's so smooth this bike. It's so much smoother this bike than actually many of the bikes I've ridden that I've been sent to review, um, you know, from China. A lot of those bikes are clanky, clunky, things rattle. Now this is actually really smooth. Nothing on this bike kind of, when it's not an e-bike, as, as a normal bike, it's actually a really good, well made, sort of very solid bike, even though it's really light. So yeah, I do recommend this frame, guys. If you're gonna build, build something like this sort of power level on, it's absolutely brilliant. And this one's from Decathlon. Oh, what a lovely ride. I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy the view. So that's gonna be it from me. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Go check out kirbybike.com for these kits and there's loads of other kits on there as well. As I say, we've got something for everyone on there. So go check out the new website. And also let me know what you think in the comments. If you had an Easy Rider kit, what would you use it for? Don't forget to like, subscribe and all the usual stuff guys. And I'll catch you next time.